Yo, so check this out guys, we are back with a brand new episode on the channel, my name is General Tony and I will be your host in today's episode guys. Now believe it or not, Supercell has just given us our first part of update information. Now this is officially coming from Supercell, it's only small information for now guys, but hopefully over the next few days and into next week we will get some sneak peeks for the next update guys. Now, this is regarding the upcoming quality of life changes. I'm going to tell you what's coming so far, guys, and I need you, my subscribers, to let me know down below in that comment section one thing you want to see in the next update, guys. And also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button. We are still posting COC videos every single day. And also, leave a like if you, you know, still play COC every day, guys. Smash that like button. Let's see how many people still play. So, let's get into this. This is the upcoming quality of life changes. There are currently only three changes coming so far, but Supercell told us to stay tuned because more are just around the corner. So the first one's going to be with the siege machines. The second one is relating to troop selection and the third one is replay. So let's get into number one siege machines guys. Basically the first change coming in the next update, the game will automatically default to your last deployment you used. For example, if you used a clan castle in your last attack and you didn't use a siege machine, the next attack you will still use a CC. However, if you do a live attack and you use a war wrecker, the next attack you will automatically have a war wrecker deployed as long as you've got one cooked up in your siege workshop guys. And of course the same goes for the battle blimp. If you use a Battle Blimp every single attack, the next attack you don't have to switch to a Battle Blimp because it will already be there as default. That is a massive thumbs up from me guys because sometimes I do live war attacks and I forget to set the War Wrecker or the Battle Blimp and I end up getting absolutely wrecked guys. Now before we move on to the next quality of life change, there is still another small one regarding the Siege Machine. Instead of receiving one experience point when you donate a siege machine to your clan members, you will now receive 30 experience points, guys. So thumbs up if you think that's awesome. Okay, so moving swiftly on to the next one, and that is regarding troop selection. When starting an attack, your troops will no longer be selected by default. That way you won't accidentally deploy a troop when touching the map. You will need to manually select a troop you want to deploy first. That's pretty cool guys, that is going to help everyone. And finally, replays. New replay speed available, rewatch battles in half replay speed. That's all we have to share for now guys, that is confirmed. But stay tuned for more news in the upcoming weeks guys. So it looks like there is going to be a massive update coming possibly in October. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel because I'm going to bring you all the relevant information as soon as it is released by Supercell. Here we go guys, we are back on the main village inside of COC, that is all the update information for now, but as I said, Supercell just kind of pulls this out randomly guys, so please make sure you turn on those post notifications. As soon as the next bit of update information is released by Supercell, I'm going to bring you it here on this YouTube channel guys. Don't forget as I said at the start of the episode, we are approaching 2.5 million subs, and as soon as we hit 2.5 million subscribers, we will do an awesome giveaway, guys. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it is definitely going to be something big. So make sure you sub and stay tuned. But for now, my friends, back on the channel 12, for those of you that are new to the channel, we need about 500 million gold in order to max out this base, guys. Now, we've currently got 8 million inside of the storage, and we also need to upgrade the Grand Warden just four more levels, guys. So we're going to see if we can continue this journey to maxing out as much of this base as possible. We're going to start off with the boost, guys. We've got our heroes, troops, spells ready. We've already trained up not one, but two armies. And we've got some siege machines, guys. So let's do this. If we get a three star, we will get ourselves a star bonus. And I believe, fingers crossed, we can do another upgrade before the end of the episode, guys. We've already got over 8 million gold. We only need about... Maybe two and a half million, and with the loot bonus and the star bonus, it is definitely achievable. So for now, stay tuned. We're going to be back in a couple of moments' time. We're going to see if we can find ourselves a first opponent, which is offering a nice amount of gold, guys. How about this? Okay. Town Hall 12. Sorry, Town Hall 11. 
It's got 400,000 gold. I think the loot bonus is about 300,000, so that will equal about 700. And then the star bonus is also about 750,000. So, let's go for it, guys. This could be a great opportunity to start off the episode well and uh, do that upgrade we want. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to use a baby dragon to funnel that side. I'm actually going to get some wool breakers in here, guys, because I want to try and get my queen. And uh, I think we're good to go. So there goes the archer queen. There goes the healers just behind. And I'm going to go ahead and drop a baby dragon in there just to take out those collectors, guys. So back to the queen. She's doing exactly what we want. And it's looking great so far, guys. So what I'm going to do... I am going to drop in a Rage Spell to deal with that Barbarian King, guys. And I'm going to use two more Wall Breakers. Hopefully, they're going to go in the Rage. No, they're not. And it looks like we're not going to be getting into the base, guys. Oh, we did. Awesome. Okay. Here comes the Defending CC. Poison Spell goes down. Max level Giants inbound. Can the Queen take them out on her own? That is the question. There's only four. So, it shouldn't be an issue, guys. And the Queen's done it. Awesome. So, what I'm going to do now... We are going to prepare the rest of the army. How I'm going to do that, use a couple of baby dragons over there. Queen is looking in a little bit of trouble. Let's drop another rage spell on that queen, guys, and make sure she stays alive. We're going to come in with the giants now, which is, and the bowlers just behind. And we are going to go in with the heroes, the siege machine. And I'm going to drop that jump spell right into the center, guys. Now, we've lost the queen. But it's not game over just yet. I'm going to drop a free spell on the Inferno Towers. And I am going to hopefully rage up the core, guys. Here we go. Can we get the troops to go into the middle? Here we go. Wall Wrecker. Wall Breaker. Sorry, the Grand Warden's ability is going to get used again. I'm going to drop another free spell on the Expo, the Inferno, and the Tesla Tower. As the rest of the troops rampage into the core, guys. Now, we've kind of messed this up a little bit. But we definitely still have the opportunity... To pick up the three star that we need. It just depends whether we can take out this Inferno Tower or not, guys. It is a single target. It's not destroying my troops, troops too quickly. But it is, you know, slowly picking at them. Damn, we just lost the king. That is what I didn't want to happen, guys. You know what? Looks like we're going to have to fall this back and uh, take the two star that we've got, guys. Because I messed this raid up really bad. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We can do another one, guys. We can do another one. We can always come back from this. There goes the Inferno. Can we get that gold storage? That is a question, guys. I reckon we might be able to get a couple of shots on it. Let's see what happens. Check this out. Can this wall go down in 20 seconds? I'm not too sure. Not too much left over that side of the base, guys. I reckon this is going to be extremely close. If we had maybe one more bowler, we could have done it, guys. But it's not going to go down. So uh, let's go ahead and end the raid there. What did we get? What did we get? 300, 4, 590 ish thousand gold. And we walked away with a two star, guys. So we certainly need to do another live attack. So let's gem up the next army. And hopefully this time we don't completely mess it up, guys. So there's the Grand Warden, the King as well down the bottom. And let's just double check. Yep, we're ready to rumble. Single star is all that's needed this time, but we are going for the three star, guys. So for now, my friends, stay tuned. We will be back in a couple of moments' time. Let's see if we can do a little bit better than the previous raid. Not too bad at all, guys. We've actually found a Town Hall 10, which has got almost 800,000 loot in total, guys. I mean, you can't really be that, can you? It's basically gifting us all this dude's money. So let's just go in with these baby dragons. I'm going to drop the queen over on this side, and uh, to be honest with you, Town Hall 10, if I don't 3-star this, then uh, I may as well quit the game, guys. So, let us use these minions to pick off some of those buildings. I am going to get my beautiful queen into the base using those wall breakers, guys. A couple of them are going to get shot down, but we're in. And my queen kills the defending queen. So, let's just send the whole army in here, guys. I'm going to try and save my Wall Wrecker. I don't really think we need to use it. Remember, these Wall Wreckers, they are extremely expensive, guys. So I wouldn't suggest using one every single raid. I'm going to get these uh, these bowlers in over here just to make sure they don't all run around the edge of the base, guys. I know a couple are going to, but we want to get the majority into the center. Here we go. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. Freeze on that Inferno. Freeze on the second Inferno. And let's use the final rage over on that side, guys. So it looks like 
It is going swimmingly so far. Let's just take a look at what's left. We've got the King and the Queen's ability. Let's put both of them, guys. 85% damage already. And it looks like my entire army has surrounded this dude. And there is no escape. We are walking away with a three-star, guys. And you know what? I think there is a chance, small chance, we might be able to do an upgrade, guys. I'm not 100% sure, but let's check. Because we're already at about 9.5 million gold. We should be collecting the star bonus. Can we afford any upgrades, guys? Treasury, collect. What have we got? 10 million. Can we do anything with 10 million, guys? Let's check. Okay, so... Tesla Towers are all maxed out already. What about a bomb tower? 11 million. Wizard Tower, 11.2. Archer, 11. Cannon, 11. Okay, we can't do any upgrades, guys, but you know what? We're very close. So in the next episode, we should have max loot, both gold and elixir, and we will be able to do some upgrades, guys. We might also upgrade some of these walls. I think we need to do 81. Yeah, 81 more walls. And we'll also max out the level 13 walls, guys. But for now, my friends, we're going to win this episode here. So leave a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to sub to the channel and turn on those post notifications. I'll see you shortly. Peace out.